I just want to start with, uh, I've seen the first three episodes of season two. I wish I had access to more. You guys know I'm a big fan of this uh, of this series. Uh, I am curious, which of you, for each of you, which of your friends and family are the most excited that you're part of this series? And do they constantly text you asking for spoilers? <laughs> I try to give my husband um, a script once and he fell asleep after two pages. So he's not that invested, I would say. I don't know if I have any other family members being super, probably my brother. I'm having to constantly fight my agent to stop calling and asking questions, which could, you know, get me in trouble, essentially. He's always asking for like links to the show or, you know, oh, have you got access to the next script? And I'm like, please, I can't, I can't share this with you. I know <laughs> that you've given me this opportunity, but like... <laughs> I can't do this. This is a weird relationship now. So, uh, yeah. My, okay, she hasn't seen the show because she's only like five, but she's seen like trailers. My niece, Ali, is like obsessed with like the mother character. She thinks she's like this like super badass character, but I can't explain why, like what, what the show was about, but she's like, she, she asked the most amount of questions. About like, she? women, how, she's five. But she'd be like, women, how does she fly? And uh, what's that coming over eyes? So she's kind of asking the questions that I could, should be asking as an actor, which is quite- Why is she screaming all the time? Yeah, it's like, how did she do that? <laughs> and why, did the kid, why aren't the kids afraid of her? And you're like, that's a good question. And it's like, why, why are you Sue friends with her? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was like, get off my back, you know? The thing about the planet you guys are on, it's sort of like a haunted house and that there is just things hidden, like things that come up um, because it's like a haunted house. And I'm just curious, how much has Aaron actually told you guys all the secrets of what's going on? And how much is it sort of you finding out script by script? He hasn't. It seems like he tells reporters more. Yeah, exactly. Well, as Aaron like rang us in, well, we had like chats with Aaron kind of like a year in advance during the, the big lockdown. Um, and so we all kind of got told roughly what was going to happen with our characters in season two, but we didn't know what was happening to the other characters. So when we all got, when we like all arrived in South Africa, we just had like half the scripts then and the latter half were kind of coming as, as we were shooting. So we were all trying to like figure out, you know, what was, what was everyone going to be up to? So there was a lot of, a lot of that going on. Everyone, everyone knew their secrets, but they didn't know the full story, but which is be- interesting. To be fair, he he's also figuring out while we go along. Like he has a, I'm sure he has a great outline of what's going to happen, but he also needs the freedom to sort of let things flow. And um, it's a it's a challenge at times to not know, but it's also a gift in terms of learning how to let go and trust your creator. What are you guys actually allowed to tease about season two? What do you want fans to know? Oh man, it's it is. If you thought season one was a wild ride, this is mm. like a wild life. <laughs> it's a crazy experience, man. Mm. And I think season two not only does it, I feel like, answer a lot of questions and and thoughts from season one, but it presents more but i feel like it also weirdly arms you with the right tools in order to answer the questions as well as they arise i think it's i think season two is is on is another league of its own i really do there's a re like we're introduced to a heck of a lot more characters that are amazing amazing actors and from all over the globe and so with these new characters more you know they're put into new scenarios and relationships form and but ultimately the kids are getting older. So, you know, they're becoming more involved in adult problems. And yeah, it's, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot going on this season. And we're on a completely different part of the planet that looks completely different. And it's like the production design is unbelievable. So if you thought you knew what was going to happen in season one, <laughs> just get ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think we all got so blown away by the finale last season. So... So we're kind of accustomed to what happens in season two. We're like, oh, okay. Well, here's another script. Well, 
where crazy shit happens all the time, I guess, what's new on this planet, right? But there's definitely the, the pace of things. It's um, moving rapidly. Yeah, like I said, I cannot wait to see where this all goes. Um, I got to stop. I'm just going to say congrats on being uh, in such a kick-ass series. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Steven. Cool. Thank you.